Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue for another great songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. This event is always a great time, with former and future Room 6 guests making it a reunion every week. Plus, it's always nice to meet new songwriters to the showcase, uh, like we had this week. Uh-oh. What? People. <gasps> oh no! I just want to update and or remind you that the showcase is every Sunday with a new start time of 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once again, kicking things off, it was time for our host, Hal Savar, to take the stage. Hal does a great job of weaving some backstory into each song he performs, which draws the crowd into his music and warms things up nicely. If you'd like to be on the showcase, hit up Hal Savar using his social media handle on screen and in the description. If you'd like to be on Room 6, whether reviewed or interviewed or both, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down there as well. And while you're down there, what the heck, feel free to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on all my reviews, interviews, and live streams, and more. Thanks. Following Hal was Anna Duerden, new to the showcase and to me. Anna's music is full of what makes Anna special, striving to bring healing and togetherness through songwriting. Her voice rang out with passion that touched every heart in the place. I'm looking forward to getting her on the channel soon. Coming up next was Other People's Secrets, making this her second appearance on the showcase stage in as many weeks. Although this songwriter is more at home behind an electric keyboard online, she still commands attention when strapping on a guitar on stage. Her lyrics are clever and insightful, and she brings just the right amount of attitude to drive the point home. The next act was Quinn Turner and the Soulful Sons. Quinn's a former Room 6 alumni, and his music is sometimes sexy, sometimes uplifting, and sometimes thoughtful. Now that he's playing with a band, however, his music is growing and it's great to see him blossom. The next batter up was Nicholas Morgan, a face that we're getting used to seeing at uh, Soul Belly. Joined by House Savar for the first song of his set, Nicholas combined solid songwriting and strong vocals with clever guitar work that's equal parts frenetic and just right. He's quickly becoming a Soul Belly favorite. The next performer was Bert Django, keeping the theme of new showcase performers alive. Originally from Anaheim, California, Bert has played all over the Southwest, combining blues-based songwriting with elements of Elvis and Joe Bonamassa. He brought a sound that was different yet familiar, and I hope we'll see more of him again soon. Up next was Nidia Martinez, one of the many showcase performers that's been right here in Room 6. Rocking a light pink electric guitar for this set, Nidia proceeded to enthrall everyone with her blend of alternative and R&B sounds that highlighted relatable lyrics. It was great, and I'm proud to call her a Room 6 alumni. Making their triumphant return to the Soul Belly stage was husband and wife duo Get Addicted Mafia. Made up of Marvin Bad Habit and Effie First Lady Frankie Tabuyo, this dynamic pair fused hip-hop with soul singing, performing to tracks and cranking up the energy and positivity levels of the evening. This set the stage perfectly for the next act, which was... None other than Jazzy Fresco, who always does a great job turning any stage into a nightclub. Jazzy's set was a little more poignant this time, having just got through his house burning down. Fortunately, no one was hurt, and Jazzy poured all that emotion into his set. Also rapping to tracks of his own making, Jazzy Fresco took the torch lit by Get Addicted Mafia and threw it on the bonfire. And dancing around that bonfire would be the amazing Ronnie Wilder and the Skimmers. Ronnie's been on the showcase at a previous location and on Room 6 before, but this was the first time I'd seen her with a band, and it was electric. With someone else playing the instruments, Ronnie was free to strut the stage, work the crowd, and really let loose. This was also a decided departure from her other shows, singing at various theaters, restaurants, and cigar lounges. Overall, this week's songwriter showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street, downtown Las Vegas, went great. I can't wait for the next one. If you can make it this Sunday in person, great! If not, catch the live stream. And remember, start time is now 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you there! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that we'll see you at Soul Belly either in person or on the live stream this Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
Uh, if you want to be on it, like I said, hit up House of R. If you want to be on Room 6, hit me up. In the meantime, if you want to support the channel, click on that Room 6 social media link down in the description for ways that you can support the channel, which goes to either making better videos or helping the local scene. I've got my own CDs out. I also have room6.shop for merch. And I also have a Patreon page with patron-only content, such as the monthly, one-hour, unedited, unscripted audio podcast with myself and my friend Sean Flynn, where we talk about whatever we want. It's called Two Brains, One Bottle. Season 1 is currently available on Room 6 channel right now uh, for free. So, enjoy that. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does make a difference, please click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.